Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to automate command based tasks using Power Automate desktop. The command prompt officially called the Windows command processor and often we will abbreviate it as CMD, which is the command line interface for the Windows operating system. The command line is a text based interface or command line interface within the operating system that forwards the command from the user to the operating system. For an example, to organize files, start programs, or run other commands linked to the operating system, computer, or network, we can automate the task by using command session in our Power Automate desktop. Now, we'll see what are the available actions under command session. Let's switch to Power Automate desktop. Over here, under the action panel, if you see, I'm having command section. Let's expand them. There you can see five different types of actions under the command section. One is open command section, read from command section, write to command session, wait for text on command section, and finally we'll have close command section. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn about all these sections one by one. Before that, I will show you a small use case when we are going to work with these command section actions by using Power Automate Desktop. I'm going to explain about the small use case, how you are going to list and changing the directories. In a such a way, I'm having a directory within local disk E with the folder that is Power Automate Desktop. I want to know all the files or the directories which are available in the particular directory. How can we go ahead and do that by using command prompt? Let me show you that first. How can we do that? We'll go for the command by clicking on Windows R and then we'll type command. This is called command user interface. That is CUI or command line interface. Over here, to change the directory, what we'll do, we'll type cd slash d and we'll give the directory over here as e colon power automate desktop. Now it has changed the directory from c users to e colon power automate desktop. Now I want to know what are the list of directories we have inside the path that I will give the command over here as dir nothing but directory there you can find all the directories over here you can see daily reports documents learning folders and whatnot what are the things that we have over here you will find all these things now let assume i want to create a new directory over here i will give the name over here as hello world how can we go ahead and create the directory the command is mkdir and i'm going to give it as hello world and then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see over here, a new folder or the new directory has been created with the command mk directory that is hello world. Now the folder has been created over here or the directory has been created. Now I want to remove the directory. That is how can we do, I'm going to use the command over here as rm directory that is remove directory then I'm going to give it as hello world. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see previously by using MK directory, I have used hello world. And after that, by using RM directory, I have removed the directory, which is available inside the path that is E colon power out my desktop. Now you can see over here that I have removed with the command RM directory, hello world. You don't find the directory over here. All right. In such a way, if you're going to work with multiple commands you, by using CLI, that is command line interface, in that case, you will use all this list. Now, I will tell you one more thing. Over here, if you observe, I'm having one of the exe file that is Microsoft Power Automate Desktop exe, right? So that what I have to do, I have to install it. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm just going to give the name over here setup.microsoft.powerautomate.desktop and then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see over here, it is started installing by using command line interface. 
all right now in a such a way we are having a lot of things to do with the listing and changing directory in a such a way i am having network related also let me close once again and then i am going once again for the command prompt and then if i want to know the ip of the particular system then what are the command i will use ip config and then you can see over here i got all the details related to the ip you can see my ip address related details and what not this is my local so that you don't find it the remaining details over here all right and in a such a way if i want to know the pings are coming or not you can see over here i got the help over here like in a such a way ping that you can see to stop type control c and this is the entire list of the ping which is help list for the ping all right these are all the things which we can work with the command section which is available at the power automate desktop thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day